What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to this week's all new character bio. In honor of All Hallows Eve, tonight we're taking a look at the origins of a very fitting villain for the Night of Ghouls and Goblins, Jack-O-Lantern. Fair warning, his origin is a little rough and kind of gory. If you're squeamish or faint of heart, you might want to click away, but without further ado, let's get spooky. Jack-O-Lantern's real name is unknown, but we do know how he got his start. He was rotten from a young age, a disobedient child who enjoyed torturing animals, among other evil acts. But he loved Halloween, and one fateful Halloween night, he snuck away from his parents and went on the prowl, eventually coming to the home of one Bennett Brandt, better known as the Crime Master. Crime Master sprayed him with knockout gas, kidnapping him and choosing to raise him as a son, training him to be a master assassin in the use of explosives and knives in exchange for his undying loyalty. One day, when Jack got older, he returned to his parents' house on Crime Master's instructions. He then brutally murdered them, leaving his signature for the very first time. He removed their brains and left a candle in their place, making them look like jack-o'-lanterns. He then killed the rest of the previous villains that ever used the same name and began his reign of terror. As far as abilities go, Jack-O-Lantern has no superpowers, but has been highly trained by Crime Master and claims to be the world's greatest assassin. He also is a skilled hand-to-hand -hand fighter, able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with people like Agent Venom. His real expertise, though, might shine through the best in his gadgets. In addition to his unique outfit, Jack-O-Lantern rides a rocket-powered broomstick and uses a variety of cool tools, all kind of relating to his theme, like explosive and corrosive candy, as well as these little attacking devil robots henchman. For more on this character and more on his origin, the best read is probably the Rick Remender Venom run from 2011. He's very, very present in the beginning of that storyline, uh, and it's actually a really interesting thing to see kind of Venom like really wrestling with his morality in the face of this completely amoral evil villain. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to spoil too much there, but it's really kind of interesting to see the hijinks they get mixed up in, and it really is a good look at Jack O' Lantern as a character. Anyways, that's it for the origin of Jack O' Lantern. Hope you enjoyed this Halloween themed bio. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you heard. Subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider supporting us on Patreon for access to all sorts of exclusive goodies. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.